In this video, you are going to learn the best way of how to make a bar bending schedule for chair bars or separators in the footing and how to calculate the cutting length for chair bars. The method that I'm about to show you is extremely easy and can be understood by everyone, so be sure to watch this video till the end because you don't want to miss this. Let's first clearly understand what chair bars mean. This is a chair bar. It's a support bar placed and tied between the upper and lower reinforcement to maintain stability of main reinforcement bars in the footing or slab. Chairs or separators help to maintain the required gap between the upper and lower reinforcement cage in the footing and slab and also help to maintain the required top concrete cover for the reinforcement. They also help to protect the top and bottom bars from displacement and sagging at the time of powering concrete due to movement of the steel bars and also help provide extra support for the reinforcement bars. When finding out the cutting length of the chairs, we draw a table with the reference number here, description, bar mark, type of mark, number of members, number of bars in each, total number here. This part has A, B, C, D, E and the total cutting length of the bar here. Usually, these chairs are not always provided for in most structured drawings, so literally you are providing them as provisions to help out hold steel bars family. The first step is draw the shape of the chair bar or separator in the table. Label the footing for which you are providing for the chairs, say footing F1. Mark this first side as 400 mm and also this one as 400 mm, the top side as 500 mm and what we need to calculate for is the height. Personally, I normally use these measurements as default measurements for practical work on site. For academic purposes, use a set of formulas to find out the legs, the height and the head of the chair bars or separators. For footing F1 in the drawing, it clearly details that the thickness of the base is exactly 450mm including both concrete covers, the one at the top and the one at the bottom. Remember we want our chairs to fit in here. What we do is that we get 450mm minus 50mm concrete cover on top minus 50mm concrete cover at the bottom minus 24mm bottom 1 and bottom 2 bars since each one of them is 12mm minus 24mm for top 1 and top 2 steel bars at the top here meaning we remain with 302mm and we take the slightly lower figure which is 300mm for this case. Back to our table, the height here is 300mm and also 300mm here. We have no bar mark since chairs and separators are not always catered for in structured drawings. The type of mark or steel bar thickness is H12 since we are using the same steel bar thickness as the ones we use in the base. Number of members, let's say we have one footing labeled as F1. Number of bars in each we shall put 8, one here, another one here, here and here. Even physically on ground, one will be here, 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 and also many others to make them 8. Total number here will be 1 multiplied by 8 to have 8. A as 400mm, B as 300mm, C as 500mm, D as 300mm, and E as 400 millimeters. When we add all these sides, A up to 400 millimeters, when we add all these sides, A up to E, we get the total cutting length as 1.9 meters. There is no standard spacing between chairs or separators, but they must be arranged in such a way that they are able to fully support main reinforcement bars. You can take the maximum spacing as 1 meter. Another example is footing F2 and as I've said before, we shall make this side as 400 mm and this side also as 400 mm. I usually choose 400 mm because from personal field experience, 400 mm provide stability for this chair and also relatively proportional to the 500 mm head. And since we have 400 mm here and also 400 mm here and then 500 mm here on top, the task is to find out the height. Let's go to the section for our footing F2. This footing is of thickness 450 mm including both concrete covers, the one at the top and the one at the bottom. To get the exact height for the separators or chairs to separate and hold firmly top bars and bottom bars, we get 450mm minus 50mm concrete cover at the bottom and 50mm concrete cover on top. Then deduct 24mm for steel bar thickness for bottom 1 and bottom 2. Then again deduct 24mm for top 1 and top 2 bars. Each of these bars has 12mm diameter. 
so 12 plus 12 we get 24. Back to our calculation. 450 millimeters minus 50 millimeters minus 50 millimeters minus 24 millimeters minus 24 millimeters, we get 302 millimeters. And for this case, we shall take 300 millimeters to ease cutting, meaning the height here is 300 millimeters and also 300 millimeters here. Fill the type of mark as H12 since we are using chairs of 12 millimeters bar thickness. Number of members as 5 since we have 5 footings for our project that are labeled as F2. When the footings have a similar name, it means they have the same dimensions. Total number here will be 5 multiplied by 8 to get 40 pieces. Each piece having 400 millimeters for the legs, 300 millimeters for the height, and 500 millimeters for the head to make the total cutting length as 1.9 meters. Similarly, for another footing, let's say footing F2A. To get the number of steel bars to be purchased for separators or chairs, simply come to this table. Another example is footing F4A, which is 1.8 meters long along its four sides. The number of chairs or separators required in this case are 1, 2, 3, 4, with the column in the center here, even physically on ground. When a footing has both top bars and bottom bars, there is need for chairs or separators, and in this case, we need four chairs or separators, one here, the second one here, third one here, and the fourth one here. We arrange these chairs or separators in the slab or footing in such a way that they are able to fully support the top bars and bottom bars together without sagging or shaking. I calculated the one for F2B a similar way. When you want to know the exact number of steel bars that you need to purchase from the hardware store or factory for the chairs, simply come to this cutting length, say 1.9 meters, get 1.9 meters multiplied by the total number of pieces, say 24. 1.9 meters multiplied by 24, we get 45.6 meters. And since each steel bar has 12 meters, get 45.6 meters, divide by 12 meters to get 3.8 steel bars, which is equivalent to 4 steel bars. In simple terms, we buy or purchase 4 H12 steel bars to cater for chairs or separators for all F2B bases or footings. I hope that's clear. That's the end of this video about how to make a bar bending schedule for chairs or separators in the footing and also how to find out the number of steel bars required for chairs or separators. Be sure to watch this next video about how to make a bar bending schedule for the ground beam. I explain this in the most understandable way. In case you want to watch the entire playlist in order on how to make a bar bending schedule for all structure members, click on this video on the left and in case you want to watch the next video, click on this video on the right. Thank you so much for watching.